Genesis chapter 34 Dinar, the daughter of Leah, whom she bore to Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. Shishem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, the prince of the land, saw her. He took her, lay with her, and humbled her. His soul joined to Dino, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the young lady, spoke kindly to the young lady. Shishem spoke to his father, Hamor, saying, Get me this young lady as a wife. Now Jacob heard that he had defiled the Ana, his daughter, and his sons were with his livestock in the field. Jacob held his peace until they came. Amor, the father of Shishem, went out to Jacob to talk with him. The sons of Jacob came in from the field. When they heard it, the men were grieved, and they were very angry. Because he had done folly in Israel, in line with Jacob's daughter, a thing ought not to be done. Amor talked with him, saying, The son of my son, Shishem, longs for your daughter. Please give her to him as a wife. Make marriages with us. Give your daughters to us. And take our daughters for yourselves. You shall dwell with us, and the land will be before you. Live and trade in it get positions in it. Shem said to her father and to her brothers, let me find favour in your eyes, and whatever you will tell me I will give. Ask me a great amount for a dowry, and I will give whatever you ask of me. But give me young lady as a wife. The sons of Jacob answered to Shem and Hamor, his father with deceit and spoke, because he had defiled the dinar their sister and said to them, we can't do this thing, to give our sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that is a reproach to us. Only on this condition will we consent to you. If you will be as we are, let every male of you be circumcised, then we will give our daughters to you, or we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if you will not listen to us to be circumcised, then we will take our sister, and we will be gone. Their words pleased Amor and Shishem, Amor's son. The young man didn't wait to do this thing, because he had delight in Jacob's daughter, and he was honoured above all the house of his father. Amor and Shishem, his son, came to the gate of their city, and talked with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceful with us. Therefore, let them live in the land, and trade in it. For behold, the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only on this condition will the men consent to us to live with us, to become one people. If every male among us is circumcised as they are circumcised, work their livestock and their possessions and all their animals be ours? Only let us give our consent to them, and they will dwell with us. All who went out to the gate of a city listened to Amor, and to Shishan his son, and every male was circumcised. All who went out of the gate of a city. On the third day, when they were saw, two of Jacob's sons, Simeon and Levi, the and his brothers, each took his sword, came upon the unsuspecting city, killed all the males. They killed Hamar and Shishem, his son, with the edge of their sword, and he took Dina out of Shishem's house and went away. Jacob's sons came on the dead and plundered the city, because they had devoured their sister. They took their flocks, their herds, their donkeys, that which was in the city, that which was in the field, nor their wealth. They took captive all their little ones and their wives, and took as plunder everything that was in the house. Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have troubled me, to make me odious to the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perseites. I am few in number. They will gather themselves together against me and strike me, and I will be destroyed. I am my house. He said, Should he deal with our sister as with a prostitute? 